this video, let us learn how to construct a triangle similar to any given triangle. Now, we've got a question here. Construct a triangle ABC in which AB equals 4 centimeters, BC equals 5 centimeters, and AC equals 6 centimeters. Now, construct a triangle similar to triangle ABC such that each of its sides is two third of the corresponding sides of triangle ABC. Now, the first step is to construct the triangle of which the measurements were given. So, let us construct that triangle first and then construct the triangle similar to this triangle in which the sides of the triangles are two thirds corresponding to the sides of the triangle that we are going to draw now. So, the first step here is to draw the line segment AB which is 4 centimeters in length. Now we need to complete the triangle. We need to draw the other two sides. The other two sides measure 6 centimeters and 5 centimeters respectively. That is AC equals 6 centimeters and BC equals 5 centimeters. So let's measure 6 centimeters on the compass now. So now a is center and 6 centimeters as the radius. Cut an arc here. And BC measures 5 centimeters, so let's measure 5 centimeters on the compass. So here we have 5 centimeters. So this cuts this arc here. So this point that we've obtained is C. And let's join this now to make it a triangle ABC. in which AB measures 4 centimeters, AC measures 6 centimeters, and BC measures 5 centimeters. So now what do we have to do? This is the most basic thing that we have done in this problem. The next step is to construct a triangle similar to this triangle. And each of those sides should be two-thirds the corresponding sides of this triangle. So now the first step is to construct a line B or construct an acute angle BAX such that AX is a ray. So the condition is we need an angle BAX to be acute. That's all. So just take a random acute angle because this is going to be a right angle. Anything beyond this is going to be obtuse. So don't keep straight. Don't be so close. Maybe this will do. But I'm going to do something like this. So this is definitely an acute angle. So here I have AX. Now, the size of the triangle that we have to draw is two thirds of this. So it is two by three. So it is two parts from three parts, right? So if, so if this triangle is three, the triangle that we are gonna draw now should be two. So therefore, let us take random measurements on the compass and say, this much would, would be sufficient. Take this much and keep it on A as center and cut arcs on the line AX, on the ray AX. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, and next comes the third. We need totally three arcs or three parts of the line because it is 2 by 3. We need to take the greater number. Now let's name this as a1, A2, and A3. Now join BA3. This is going to be 5 cm, no doubt. Now why am I going to extend BA3 so much? Because we need to measure the angle in which BA3 stands on AX or the angle that BA3 makes with AX. Now the next step is to construct A2 B dash. B dash is going to come on this line. Just draw a line here, join A2 and this line, such that A2B dash is parallel to A3B. So in order to make the line A2B dash parallel to A3B, this line should be in the same angle as BA3 is with AX. Now let's measure BA3, the angle that the BA3 makes with AX. 
So keep the center on A3, center the protractor on A3. And now measure the angle. It's 40, 50, it's almost 50, it's it's exactly between 58 and 59. So we need to keep the protractor here now from where we have to draw the line. Somewhere between 58 and 59 is exactly here. I'll join this to A2. You don't have to join the entire line, just you can draw it from this line. So let's name this B dash. Now the next step is to draw a line from B dash and join it to AC such that B dash, say let's name this C dash. B dash C dash is going to be parallel to BC. In order to ensure that we need to measure the angle that BC forms with AB and make sure that B dash C dash is also forming the same angle with AB. So let's measure the angle at B here that BC makes with AB. So it makes an exactly 82 degrees. So let's keep it on B dash and find 82 degrees. So 82 degrees is exactly here. So now join this point and B dash. No need to join from that point. You just have to make sure the B dash, the line from B dash touches AC. So yeah, let's name this C dash. Now, the triangle needed, the similar triangle required for us is A, B dash, C dash. This is the triangle that we need. So this triangle is similar to the bigger triangle and the sides of this triangle are two thirds the corresponding sides of the bigger triangle ABC. So A, B dash, C dash is a similar triangle which is two thirds of ABC. This is exactly what we needed. So now let's just ensure that it is correct. So let's measure AC is 6 centimeters, AC dash should definitely be 4 centimeters and yes it is 4 centimeters because 2 thirds of 6 centimeters is 4 centimeters. And similarly all the sides are 2 thirds the sides of the triangle. So this is how we draw similar triangles which may be greater or lesser than the original triangles.